Okay, Simon and I have our water, uh, our bottle rocket going here. I got my air compressor line. Simon's got the trigger string all the way up to our rig up there behind the, uh, behind the cement block to keep it from falling over. Okay, remember Simon, as soon as I say now, yank as hard as you can, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! That was easily the highest yet. Where is it? I have no idea where it went. It went that way. That way. And I lost track of it because it went behind the tree for me. That was cool, Simon. Okay, today we are doing bottle rockets. Two liter bottle of water, source of compressed air. Uh, not a bottle of water, about a third to a half full of water is what works best. I've got my air compressor line coming in here that I can turn on and off with a little uh, uh, ball valve. We're going to put this guy upside down onto this. Got some O-rings inside there to seal it. Then uh, this little guy is going to go through the hole there to lock it in place. Now. You got to tug on that string pretty good, so that's why I've got the weights here. And I've got it set up on an angle. We're shooting towards the wind, because last time we shot this, uh, it went straight up, and then the wind caught it, and it went over that tree, and the wind got it, and it ended up behind our neighbor's house. So we don't want that to happen again. So we're angling it this way. So uh, I'll get this pointed on here and we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay, so this is how we hook this thing up. You got our Sierra Mist, or our two liter bottle here, about a third to half full of water. Put it on there and screw it onto these O-rings until it's on nice and solid. We've got our little balancing act here so that it points into the wind. I'm gonna weight it down. That airline is not pressurized yet. Okay, so we got our U. It goes into my slot here. Come in closer, Simon. Look at this. The U kind of goes in through there. Comes out the other side. Okay, now that'll stay until I start pressurizing this line, and then it'll start leaking a little, and as soon as it starts leaking, we got to yank this thing out pretty quickly. So, Take that, Simon. We have an audience now. Okay, we'll see if we can get enough height on this one as much as we did last time. Okay, all the way up here, this is my little uh, ball valve. When I open that line up, it'll get a full feed from the air compressor. Pressurize it and you can yank it, okay, Simon? Okay. Three, two, one, yank, yank, yank! That one didn't go quite as high. But we recovered it and didn't have to chase it into the neighbor's yard this time. So, you know, that's always a good thing. Can I do it again? Well, I can fill it up the same. Okay, so the lesson we've learned from this uh, uh, water bottle rocket thing, though it's great fun, it's always fun in games until somebody loses an eye, which almost happened. You can see this because this firing pin. Uh, was pulled out with such force that it jumped 25 feet on the end of its string, hit me in the eye. I was one centimeter away from losing my vision. Very thankful that that didn't happen. But always wear safety glasses, even when you're doing something like water bottle rockets. You don't want to end up like I almost.